In today's video, we'll show you how to turn a simple X-style keyboard stand into a great bagpipe stand. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody. I'm Matt Willis, Bagpiper, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. We've all been in positions where we just need to sometimes put our pipes down, and if you don't have a stand, you might have to put them on a table or a bench or something like concrete, and those are all terrible ideas. You can easily turn an inexpensive keyboard stand like this one into a pipe stand, and I'll show you how. All right, you can see here, it's just a simple X-style keyboard stand. I have outfitted some pool noodles on top here. You could do something like um, pipe insulation that's gonna be gray, maybe a little bit more attractive, though this is easier to see. You're less likely to miss the stand by uh, having it be gray or black in a dark area. But in any case, you can make it a little bit more decorative. You can see the pipes are quite well supported. And then back here I have, these are Vader, extra large drumstick holders that have been clamped on to the back. There's a little knob down here and they just kind of attach right there. I just have them tilted up so I can hold my chanter and some brushes. can hold the blowpipe over here. I'm sure there's other solutions but these have worked for me. It folds up readily, goes in the trunk of a car quite nicely. Just got my earplug kind of hanging on over there. And there's any number of designs of these X-style stands. This is a pretty easy one with a little hand clamp. And there's going to be a link below to uh, an option that you can buy on Amazon. But yeah, pipe readily comes on and off. Make sure when you put it down that that side of the pipes are being supported so it doesn't fall off. And if this is going to be just for a stand, you might even think about putting in and drilling perhaps um, a bolt or something here and then covering it in tape or something soft so it doesn't hurt it, but something that would give it, um, keep it from falling off this way. Like, yeah. though I will say with the pool noodles on there, it really doesn't want to move very much, but you could even modify this one step further if you were handy and put some sort of screw bolt thing. Again, cover it, make sure it's soft so it's not scratching the pipes, but that would keep it uh, from falling off. It's fairly stable. This floor is, um, as you can see, about to be redone. I need a little bit of leveling. So it wiggles a little, but that has to do with my floor, not the stand itself. It's pretty sturdy. The other thing you could do on the other side, if you didn't want to use these kind of holders for your supplies, if you had someplace else to put them, or you're at a gig or whatever else, you can actually mount a second bagpipe on the other side. So if you have two bagpipes or you're in a pipe band and you have a friend and you wouldn't mind sharing your stand, this will even hold two bagpipes, which is pretty cool. Well, there you go, everybody. A shorter video, but it's not all that complicated to make this thing work as a bagpipe stand. So if you enjoyed this, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting below any thoughts you have. And again, links in the description below so you can purchase the products you see here to make your own pipe stand. If you enjoyed this video, check out this guy right here where I go over what all I keep in my pipe case, or this video right here where I go over the new Tone Temple pipe case. As always, a special shout out to Carrie Tresek, my number one supporter on Patreon. And for more information on bagpipe lessons, head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com. Until next time, guys, I'm Matt Willis. Cheers.